What I'm going to do in today's presentation is I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of SAP Business One. I'm going to talk about the product. I'm going to talk about the different ways that we're bringing the product to market on premise and on demand. I'm going to talk about some of the new innovations that are forming part of the SAP Business One solution, innovations like SAP HANA. And I'm going to give you an overview of how all of these different components come together and give you the perfect solution for your small or mid-sized enterprise business. So SAP was founded in 1972 and has more than 54,500 employees all around the world. We're the number one vendor of ERP software, and ERP is Enterprise Resource Planning. So this is really the software that businesses use to run their entire operations, from HR through to logistics, from financials right through to customer relationship management. In 2011, SAP's combined revenue was 14 billion euros. We have 1,200 service partners around the world, 75 country offices, and interestingly, 79% of SAP's more than 122,000 customers around the world are small and mid-sized enterprises just like yours. So why do I tell you all these things about SAP and about SAP's revenue and the size of the company? Well, I think when you're looking at making a decision about the software that you're going to choose that is going to help you run your business and needs to be there running for you every day when you start your business and when you close down at night needs to be there for you the very next day. You want to make sure that you're working with a, a company that is focused, committed and dedicated to the products that they build for the long term. And certainly with SAP, you're looking at a, a business software partner who is committed to that. We're committed to making sure that all of our research and development, all of the innovations that we bring to market around technology are utilized for the benefit of all of our customers, regardless of whether you're an SAP Business One customer in the small and mid-sized enterprise space or an SAP Business Suite customer running inside uh, a Fortune 500 organization. Or perhaps you're utilizing one of our SAP Business Object Solutions or even our Success Factors human capital management applications running today in the cloud for thousands of businesses around the world. We make sure that we take that combined research and development, that work that we do with all of our customers and we bring that into all of our products. So that's a little bit about SAP. What I'd like to do right now is talk specifically about the SAP Business One solution and give you a bit of an understanding of what SAP Business One is all about. SAP Business One has been designed to provide a single solution that helps small and mid-sized enterprises integrate their end-to-end -end businesses and grow. Business One is the only complete and integrated world-class ERP solution that's truly affordable. Now, why do I say it's the only complete and integrated solution? Yes, there are a lot of solutions out there in the market uh, designed to meet the requirements of small and mid-sized enterprises in specific countries. But only SAP delivers one application with one code base across multiple countries in the world. Rather than some suppliers who will have one solution if you're operating in Russia, a different solution if you're operating in India, a different solution in China, a different solution in Australia, the US and so on. With SAP Business One, you have one application with one code base that has the capabilities to meet the localization requirements of all those countries and more. SAP Business One is complete. We provide you with all the essential business functions that you need out of the box, whether it's customer relationship management, whether it's managing your logistics, service management, the warehousing components of that logistics management, finance, accounts payable, accounts receivable, basically everything that a business needs to run the broad spectrum of its operations and it's integrated. All of these functions come in one single package. There is no work to be done tying these different modules together. 
And when I say integrated, I don't just mean integrated inside the SAP Business One application. I also mean integrated with other applications that you're probably using in your business today. Applications like Microsoft Office. We have integration with Excel. We have integration with Microsoft Outlook. And I'm going to show you some of these integrations during today's presentation. The solution is also extensible. We have in excess of 400 partner-built solutions that take the core SAP Business One application and extend it out into specific industry verticals. Not only that, but we have partner solutions that also broaden the horizontal functionality of SAP Business One that give you the ability to do... Um, for want of a better term, customization, but customization without having to write a single line of programming code. So the kinds of tools that can help you adapt the software as your business requirements change. And of course, SAP Business One is truly affordable. You can start with as little as one user of SAP Business One. And implementation times do vary according to the complexity of your implementation. But I know of implementations for startup organizations that have taken two days. But the average implementation time you're looking at for an SAP Business One solution usually sits between four to six weeks. Of course, uh, you'll be able to talk to your SAP Business One partner about the details of your implementation, and they'll be able to give you a very specific indication of how long they think your implementation should take. But that's just a little bit of a guideline to help you frame the rest of the discussion that we're going to have. So Business One is both a business solution and a flexible platform. What do I mean by that? Well, remember I talked about the concept of Business One being extensible. What we've done with Business One, and bear with me for a second, I'm just going to focus on the screen so I can point out a couple of key things for you here with the mouse. What we've done is we've delivered the SAP Business One core. Now, that SAP Business One core product, we are now in a position where we're able to deliver that to you both on-premise where the software is installed in your organization, as well as via on-demand, where the product is sitting out on a cloud server, and you can access it from your local PC or your iPad, your Android device, without installing any software at all. You're just accessing the application over the Internet. Now, on top of that core application, we're providing a couple of things. We're providing the analytics capability. So with SAP Business One, we provide built-in business intelligence and analytics. We use Crystal Reports as our reporting engine, and we provide a number of pre-built dashboards, which I'm going to show you, which will help you run your business more effectively. These are all delivered in a cockpit, and like a pilot inside an airplane, you'll use our business cockpit to help you keep your business heading in the right direction and at the right level and make sure that you're able to see exactly what's going on in your business so you can make instant corrections to your course as and when you need to. But not only do we deliver that, but we are also delivering a new breed of analytics solutions. And we call this, and it's quite a mouthful, SAP Business One Analytics powered by SAP HANA. And what's that about? Well, it's really about taking advantage of the latest in-memory database technology, which allows you to analyze and gain insight from thousands and thousands of data records in seconds rather than minutes or, in some cases, hours if you're working with large amounts of data. So I'm going to talk about that as we go through today's session, but SAP HANA really does revolutionize the way that businesses are able to utilize their data and gain insight from that data. We've got plenty of examples of businesses who've been able to change and refine their business models to generate even more profitability and more satisfied customers and higher levels of revenue because with the power of SAP HANA, they're now able to run business processes that they were never able to do in the past. But we'll talk more about that. Sitting also on top of that Business One core is what we call the Business One Studio, and that is our software developer's kit. That is the tool which our partners and a number of customers also use to take 
that core application and extend it out. So that software developers kit comes with two components. It has a data interface API, which allows you to integrate at the database level while still maintaining all of your business rules and integrity, as well as a user interface API. And an API is an application programming interface. That allows you to get one application to talk directly to the user interface of SAP Business One. So you can have one application sending messages to SAP Business One and vice versa. So we have that entire layer. Then if you want to take your SAP Business One solution and integrate that with your trading partners, perhaps you might be the subsidiary of a large enterprise that's using SAP Business Suite or another large enterprise solution. You can utilize our integration framework to provide that integration to your ecosystem or to your headquarters. But not only do we use it for that, but we also use that integration framework to provide a mobile solution for you that is available free of charge to any user of the SAP Business One software that you can download from the Apple App Store and you can run that on your iPad, your iPhone or uh, Wi-Fi enabled and connected iPod Touch. So those devices are available to you as a standard component of the Business One solution. And of course, we also have the ability to integrate with many of these new, um, if you like, collaboration tools, tools that allow you to keep in touch with your customers more closely than ever before. Not only your social media tools, but also tools that allow you to exchange data through mechanisms such as EDI or electronic data interchange. Technology that's been around for a while, but constantly is being refined and new ways of utilizing those processes are being thought of and being implemented by uh, not only our customers, but there's a good chance that many of your customers and suppliers are utilizing EDI to exchange business transactions. So with SAP Business One, you'll have that capability. Wrapped around all of that, and you can see it represented down this side of, the, uh, of our solution map, is what we do around lifecycle management. And lifecycle management is really how you manage the software from the time that you install it right through the, to the time that you're running it on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as, of course, what happens when you want to do an update or an upgrade. So we have a complete lifecycle management solution called the Remote Support Platform, and that helps you manage your entire application and helps drive down your total cost of ownership. So that's the solution overall from a, you know, a diagrammatic perspective. Let's actually talk add a little bit more detail about the functionality that's in the solution. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, well, that all sounds great, but, you know, I'm in a manufacturing business or, you know, I'm a food wholesaler or, you know, I am a retailer. What can SAP Business One do for me? Well, fundamentally, the core functionality that's inside SAP Business One can be broken into these six key areas. You have sales capability, manufacturing, stock, purchase, financials, and service capacities. Now, on this website, you're gonna have access to a number of detailed demonstrations that you can watch to take you through every single one of those specific areas. So I would encourage you, after you've had the chance to watch this webinar, to go and take a look at those demonstrations. I'm gonna to touch on those things at a very high level to give you an overview, but again, please take the time to take a look at those and you'll see each one of those areas of functionality in detail. Where do we go with that? Well, sitting on top of that, we have our analytics that I talked about. The solution is multilingual and it's localized to meet your specific country's business requirements and your specific language requirements. We provide that mobile solution and integration to Microsoft Office out of the box. And of course, these other integrations are available that I already talked about. Integrations of large enterprise headquarters to subsidiary and subsidiaries to trading partners. This is what we talk about when we talk about ecosystem integration. Being able to integrate SAP to non-SAP solutions. Being able to integrate with social networks. Being able to collaborate seamlessly with your trading partners. 
We also provide Business One to Business One integration. So if you have trading partners who are using Business One, you have other sub, uh, uh, subsidiaries or other operations in your business that are using Business One, you can seamlessly exchange data with them. And then, of course, a lot of companies talk about this data exchange, but what they provide you or what they sell you is a tool to do that, and then you have to invest significant amounts of money to build those integrations. Well, with SAP Business One, we give you that tool as part of the software. We provide it out of the box at no charge. And we've also pre-built a number of integrations that you can start using straight away to start integrating with your trading partners, to start integrating with those social networks, um, to start collaborating with your trading partners and even facilitating collaboration amongst your employees. So to a certain extent, it almost sounds too good to be true that you can get all of this uh, functionality from one application. But what I'm going to do in a couple of uh, minutes is I'm going to take you through and show you some specific demonstrations of some of these areas of functionality. So you can see um, that it's not just a matter of me sitting here talking and showing you some slides because talk is cheap and slides are even cheaper. So I want to make sure you can see um, that we have the application there that you can start deploying in your business today. Uh, we have more than 36,000 customers around the world today who've already made a decision to buy an SAP Business One solution. We have literally thousands of reference customers hundreds of uh, written case studies, customer testimonial videos. So again, I would encourage you, take a look at the website uh, and you'll be able to find a number of those. And of course, you can always reach out to me if you have any questions. My name again is Richard Duffy and you can always find me at richard.duffy at sap.com. But anyway, let's dive in. On the subject of that customer base, Again, you can see here more than 34,000, again, as I said, more than 36,000 these days. Uh, and those um, customers are being looked after by a network of partners. And those partners have not only implemented those 35, 36,000 plus customer sites, but they've also helped more than 1,500 affiliates of our large enterprise customers or ecosystem partners of large enterprise customers to deploy SAP Business One. We have SAP Business One deployments in more than 80 countries around the world. We have 40 country localizations, just tipped over to 41, and 28 languages. Again, just to give you an indication of how quickly we're updating, uh, again, these slides are now out of date because just last week we added the capability to handle Arabic language in SAP Business One. So, Again, uh, we're constantly working on the solution to make sure that we're meeting the requirements of our customers in the markets in which they operate. So we're focused as well on continuous improvement. Our next release is just around the corner, that's version 9, uh, and that it contains significant enhancements in functionality. It's faster, uh, it is more user-friendly and has more rich life cycle management tools. We've really done a lot of work around that remote support platform to make it even easier for you to run the SAP Business One solution. Does that mean you should wait until the version 9 product releases? Well, no, it doesn't. Today, we're currently shipping our version 8.82, and this was by far and away our biggest and most successful release of SAP Business One with the highest level of customer satisfaction we've ever had, the fastest time to market of a solution we've ever had, and the most ease of use uh, and functionality that we've ever had in any of our releases. So of course, you can start off with SAP version 8.82 and seamlessly make the transition to version 9. And that seamless transition is facilitated by that remote support platform I was talking about, which includes tools like the Upgrade Wizard which enables you to run your upgrades very, very quickly and very, very easily. It tests your data, makes sure it's going to upgrade OK, and then it automatically runs the upgrade and comes back and tells you when it's complete. So you can then start taking advantage of the new functionality in the next release. So again, very important component of the solution. People want to make real-time business decisions, and the only way you can make real-time business decisions these days is to really have mobile access to your application. And we're delivering that with SAP Business One. 
We've had more than 33,000 downloads of our Business One application for the iPhone and the iPad. Our software solution partners, who are the organizations who build on top of uh, SAP Business One using that Business One studio that I talked to you about, those software solution partners have the ability to take that mobile application and take it into vertical markets, give it industry-specific functionality. And we have that today, even down to the level where we have uh, our software solution partners building really deep, rich functionality around the manufacturing, taking what we have in SAP Business One and extending that, where they're now using the iPad, iPhones, matter of fact, any mobile device, for you to be able to take that out, put it into your factory and capture data at the point of manufacture. So again, that mobile solution is really, really important. And of course, fundamentally, sales and service. These are the customer-facing aspects of running a business. The Business One applications give you the ability to manage your business where it happens, at the customer's site. You can oversee service contracts and you can process calls. You can see what a customer's orders are. You can process a customer order on the road. You can view your stock levels, a whole range of different things. And of course, you can access reports and you can monitor your day-to-day -day operations via dashboards. Again, I'm not going to go into a detailed demonstration of SAP Business One mobility apps in this webinar, but you can access a dedicated demonstration of that from this website. Let's talk about SAP Business One Analytics powered by SAP HANA. This is about bringing the right data you need at the right time into your computer's local memory for business insight. What do I mean by that? Traditionally, most business applications, when you are wanting to get information from them, you write a report, you run a query. That query or that report goes back to the database, the hard drive, choose away, and then you get the answer. Well, with SAP Business One Analytics, powered by HANA, all of your data is compressed, restructured, and stored in computer memory. That means it's even faster for you to get access to that information. You are able to run the BI tools that are incorporated in SAP Business One, BI being business intelligence. You're able to run those tools faster than ever before. Tools like Crystal Reports for your reporting. Tools like SAP Crystal Dashboard Design, which allows you to build interactive dashboards, which again, as I mentioned before with the pilot analogy, help you keep your business flying in the direction that you want it to be heading in. It's a seamless tool that you can bring in when you're ready to bring it in. Standard SAP Business One has business analytics tools, but they're based on that traditional mechanism of data access. When you're ready to take the next step, it's a seamless move to this new application. And it gives your employees a new level of empowerment so that they can go and build their own reports they can build their own queries into the data without having to rely on external consultants or your internal IT experts. And of course, those tools also provide web-based access to your data and to enterprise search. I'm going to take you through and show you that in just a second. Of course, Business One um, has a rich history of being available as a solution that's been made available, what we call on-premise. What do I mean by that? Well, you buy a server, you take the software and you install the software on your premises. All your computers are connected into a network and everybody accesses the data from that central server. And that central server needs some regular maintenance. Uh, it needs somebody to look after it. You need to be doing your backups on a regular basis and so on. All of those things are critically important to your business continuity, but they do add to your total cost of ownership, and they're a standard part of any on-premise solution. Well, SAP Business One is also now available in the cloud. And what does that mean to you? It basically means that you now have a choice. You can either run the solution on-premise or in the cloud gives you a whole new level of ease of use. You can focus on running your business and let the experts in the data center focus on keeping your solution running, doing your backups and making sure the software is ready to roll for you anytime, night or day. You can also access it remotely. So it gives you flexibility.
You have the flexibility to access your software from anywhere you are in the world and anywhere your people are in the world, from any device. And at the same time, it gives you the flexibility to scale. You can quickly switch on new users and at the end of your contracted period, you can then deactivate those users if you no longer need them. The final point that I'd like to make about the SAP Business One on-demand solution, and of course the SAP solution overall, is that it is globally available via our partners. So you can find a partner in your country or close by who can work with you to help you implement an SAP Business One solution. Right, I think it's time before we start talking about some of our customer experiences, I think it's probably time for me to give you a little bit of a look at SAP Business One and see exactly what it is that I've been telling you about. So let's jump into a demonstration right now. So what I'd like to do is start off by taking a look at SAP Business One On Demand, because everything I'm gonna talk about from this point onwards, when you're looking at the SAP Business One application, the functionality is almost exactly the same. What's the difference? The difference is the way that it gets delivered to your desktop. So how does SAP Business One On Demand work? Well you are able to go and find one of our SAP partners who is offering SAP Business One On Demand. And they will sign you up so you have access to the solution. Once they do that, to access the solution, all you'll need is a web browser. So you'll go to a website, and here's an example of what one of the front-end websites might look like. This is one that we have uh, on a demonstration system that I currently run exactly the same as the way that our partners run SAP Business One On Demand. So you will get a login. They will give you a username and a password. So I'm just gonna put that in right now. And I'll put in my password. And the system will go ahead and it will connect and it will know who you are and what data you have access to. Now SAP Business One, you can run one company or a hundred companies. And you can control specifically which company which user has access to. So when I go here now and I click on use my SAP Business One, the system will establish a connection. It's just telling me that it's being connected securely and tells me who's providing me this connection just so I can be 100% sure that I'm not accessing a, a malicious website that's gonna drop malware or anything like that onto my computer. So we give that a couple of seconds to allow it to establish its connection over the internet. And then as soon as you see that screen go black, you'll know that the connection's been established successfully. And the very next screen you'll see is the Choose Company screen. Now you can see I have a lot of different companies available to me. Why? Because I have all these different country localizations, Australia, Great Britain, US, South Africa, Austria, uh, Germany, Brazil, uh, Russia, China, Israel, all these different uh, ones that I could go into. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to use our standard US demonstration database. So I'll choose that, give it a couple of seconds. What it's doing now is it's checking my policy and all of my rights and it's rendering the system specifically for the way that I've asked it to be set up. So what you'll see here, this is what we call the cockpit. And inside SAP Business One, you have the ability to create different cockpits according to the role that you fulfill inside your organization. For example, if I'm a salesperson, I have a sales cockpit. If I'm a service person, a service cockpit and so on. So right now, the version of SAP Business One we're looking at does not have that SAP Business One analytics powered by SAP HANA. So it does not have that. Why am I pointing that out to you? Because I want to be very, very clear when I swap over into the version that does have that capability activated, you'll see how seamless it is and how it's easy to move from one system to the other with absolutely no retraining at all. So let's say, for example, I want to look at my sales cockpit. So right now, I'm a salesperson. I can now go in here and I can get a snapshot of my sales analysis. So I can see, see all of my year-to-date sales. I can see who my top five customers are. I can see all of the opportunities that I'm working on. And as I hover over each one of these different areas, it comes up and it shows me the specific details underneath that. 
across here, I can see all of my open documents. So if I choose refresh, it'll update that and I can see right now I have 28 sales quotations. I have 30 sales orders, 158 outstanding accounts receivable invoices and so on. Down in the bottom, I have a number of alerts. Business One allows you to do management by exception. What's that? Basically, you tell the system what you want to be notified of. What are the key things that are important for you to keep an eye on in the business? And then Business One will be like an employee that's going to work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and it's going to monitor everything that's going on in your business from a data perspective anyway, uh, and it will let you know when those specific things that you've told it you want to be notified of, when those things happen, and it will send you those notifications. And again, you can receive them via email. You can get them on the SAP Business One mobile application for the iPad. So no matter where you are in the world, you can keep your finger on the pulse of the business. Then, of course, you want to make sure the system is as easy to use as possible. So we've created this area called Common Functions. Now, if I'm a salesperson, I can go in here and I can go to Modules and I can click on Sales and I can go to Sales Order. All right? So I can navigate through a traditional menuing system. And you can see the screens can either open up in full size to take up the maximum amount of space so you've got the maximum amount to work with, or they can operate in a smaller size so you can have multiple screens open at any particular point in time. But that's a little bit too cumbersome for me. I'm somebody who likes to work quickly and there's only certain tasks that I do. So all I need to do is minimize down my menu on the side and now I just operate from my common functions along the bottom. So if I want to raise the sales order, one click, there comes the sales order screen. So I can operate from there. But of course, at any time if I want to, I can still go back here to my menu, I can click on modules, and there is my modules, or I can go back here to my cockpit. Now, it's fair to say in many small and mid-sized businesses, you don't have the luxury, if you like, of focusing on just doing one job. You might have to do multiple jobs. So that's why we have all of these different role-based cockpits. So for example, if I'm in the service team, I can click on service and what can I see here? I can get a snapshot of all of the information about my service department. I can see all the functionality, or not all the functionality, but a subset of the common functions that I want to use with service and I can access those with one click. Customer rings up, wants to log a service call, one click, I'm in the service call screen and I can take that service call and process it. Or I can go across here, let's just refresh this, and I can see all of the open documents that are relevant to me as a service person. And I can see right now, I don't actually have any service calls to be processed. Again, if I'm a finance professional, I can click here on finance and I get my own cockpit as a finance professional as well. So you can see, as a finance professional, I now have my cash flow forecast, I have my common functions so I can enter my journal entries, do my bank reconciliations, and I have also my messages and alerts. Now, what else have I been able to do? Well, I've been able to go and create my own cockpits, which pull in information from external systems. So, for example, remember, I'm running Business One On Demand. I'm able to go in here and I can access, for example, Microsoft SharePoint. So if you are utilizing Microsoft's Office 365 cloud-based productivity solution, this is Microsoft Office on the web fundamentally. You can access all of those tools from here inside SAP Business One. I can access my um, SharePoint. I can access SkyDrive, which is a cloud-based file repository for sharing files. And I can even access the Office 365 applications. So you can see I'm even able to do all of my administration of my Office 365, access my Office 365 applications here, all from inside SAP Business One. Really, once you're inside SAP Business One, you never need to leave the application. You can manage everything from inside here. All right, let's dive back then, because what I want to do is I want to show you another way that you can access SAP Business One. So I'm just going to exit out of here for a second. Another way that our partners may choose to make the solution available to you is directly from a web browser. 
So here I launched the application and it ran disconnected from the web browser over the internet but not embedded inside your web browser. All right. Another option is to run it from inside a web browser. So here I'm using um, Google Chrome as my web browser before using Internet Explorer. Now I'm using Google Chrome and this could be on the Mac, could be on a Linux machine. Right now I am using Windows. And I can just select a bookmark that I have that has a short URL in it. All I do is I select that URL, it connects in to my cloud server and you see, bang, there is my SAP Business One. Now this is running on a different cloud environment, the same concept, but now it's running inside the web browser itself. So I can select my company, then I can choose to open that company simply by clicking on choose, and then the company will open up and I'll be able to access SAP Business One exactly the same way as you saw me doing it before. So let's give that a couple of seconds to open up. And there you have it, SAP Business One, exactly the same application, again running over the cloud, but this time running inside your web browser. So let's just close that down now. And what I want to do, actually I don't want to close that tab, so I'll just exit out of there. I'm going to go back into SAP Business One over here. I'll choose Connect again. And you'll see, once again, we're watching for this little details button. As soon as that goes dark black, then I'll know I've got a, a successful and secured connection through to the web. There it goes. And I'm back into SAP Business One again. So I'll say choose. And we're back into our core application. So what is the functionality that's available inside SAP Business One and how do you navigate throughout the system? Well, I've already shown you that concept of cockpits. I've already shown you one or two of the standard screens. But inside SAP Business One, you have a whole raft of different functional areas, whether it's managing your financials right through to material requirements planning or MRP. This is where you can manage either the purchasing of materials to meet requirements or the production of materials to meet requirements because we also have in SAP Business One the capability to handle productions. You can build a bill of materials that specifies what are the components of the products that you manufacture. You can raise production orders. You can do um, different procurement management processes. You can receipt products from production. And when you're doing your production, you can manually issue product to the production process or you can back flush so that when you receive the finished goods, all of the component items are automatically reduced from inventory. So you have all that capability. You have the ability to manage your business partners. And this is one of the key things with SAP Business One. Other applications will require you to purchase a separate CRM application. They might also require you to do some additional work around the integration of that CRM. With SAP Business One, CRM is integrated right throughout the entire solution. Matter of fact, if you look at our menu, you won't actually see a, a component there that says CRM. Why? Because all of your activity around your customers gets stored against your business partner master data. You have all your ability to generate and manage marketing campaigns here through campaign management. And the management of your sales force automation, all of your management of your sales opportunities is done here through sales opportunities. So this whole concept of having Business One as a single integrated application uh, is very important. And we've taken that right throughout the entire design. So at any point in time, if I'm looking at a business partner, for example, and I'm going to call up one, I can navigate through these using these very simple video buttons at the top. Let me call up one of my customers who's got quite a few sales orders and a few opportunities on the hop. Okay, well, here's Earthshaker Corporation. Now, I can now see from this one screen, I can see their account balance. I can see what value in deliveries I've got still pending, the value of open orders. 
I can see how many sales opportunities I've got. Now, anywhere in SAP Business One, you see these little golden arrows. That means you can drill down to the underlying information. I want to look at that sales opportunity, assuming I have the rights. And right now, I'm logged in as a super user, so I can do virtually anything I want. All I have to do is one click, and it will drill down, and it will bring me up a list of all those sales opportunities. Let's look at another one of those forms that has more entries in it. For example, the orders. You can see here I have a number of orders. And then to drill down to the underlying transaction, let's say in this case, my sales opportunity, one click gives me the ability to drill down to that sales opportunity and I can start managing that. Where does that become really important? Well, it becomes important when you're on the phone to your customers and you need to start giving them answers to information. So having that instantaneous click and drill down is critical. What I'd like to do now in that context is talk with you a little bit about SAP Business One Analytics powered by SAP HANA. So what this solution does is it gives you even more power, even more flexibility in getting insight into the data that's in your system. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to toggle backwards and forwards between the two systems just to quickly show you how Fundamentally, from a usage perspective, in terms of understanding the user interface and how the software works, it's exactly the same. So it's a seamless transition. So if I go here, for example, and I look at my cockpit and I look at a sales cockpit. Here is a sales cockpit using our standard Business One analytics. Give it a couple of seconds. There it is. There's a dashboard. And here's my open documents. And again, I can refresh those and you can see there's all of my open documents. So you can see this is sales analysis. So now I'm going to toggle across to my system that's actually running on top of HANA. Does it look any different? Well, yeah, it does look a little bit different here. Why? Because this is a slightly different dashboard. Okay. So here I have um, a sales employee performance target dashboard. And you can see it has this marker up here saying that it is powered by HANA. A couple of other things that are really different with HANA and with the business analytics. If I look at the standard SAP Business One application, and I'll just quickly toggle back to that, you'll see here I have this search functionality. And this search functionality, for example, gives me the ability to search for a customer or um, inventory or a supplier. So let's say I want to search for Earthshaker. If I type Earth and hit Enter, what it will do, it will automatically find the business partner master data for Earthshaker. All right? That goes back to the hard disk, retrieves that information for me. And then I can start drilling down from here. Now, let's take a look at the way Enterprise Search works when it's combined with SAP Business One Analytics powered by HANA. I'm going to toggle back across. So here I am in my system with the HANA database engine in the background. I'm going to do exactly the same thing now. I'm going to search for Earthshaker, E-A-R-T-H, and I hit Enter. What do you now see? Well, with the enterprise search, what it does is it now, because of the power of that back-end HANA database, it is searched throughout the entire Business One application for any instance of that word earth, whether it's in a customer, whether it's in an inventory item, an invoice, wherever it is inside the system, it's just retrieved it all back. So you can see how quick that was. Now, that's great, and I've got 14 pages of information here, but what if I want to narrow it down? Well, simply, I go up here and I click on my layout button, and what will you see happen? You'll see it's now giving me the ability to drill down to specific transactions underneath that. So let's say I only want to look at the sales opportunities that I have. I click here on opportunity, and now you'll see I just have my six sales opportunities, and I can scroll down to see the other two. Or let's go back up. I want to look at my sales orders. Click on the sales orders. And now I'm seeing four pages of sales orders. Well, I want to narrow it down. I only want to see the sales orders that are still open. One click to remove the closed filter. And you see immediately I just get to see my three sales orders that are open. And why is it so quick? It's so quick 
because all of that data is being held in memory. Now you might be thinking, hang on, if it's held in memory, does that mean if the power gets switched off I lose everything? No, it doesn't because the data is always persisted back to the hard disk storage, but whilst you're in operation, it's stored in that memory. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So what can I now do when I'm looking at one of these transactions? With one click, I can drill down and open that transaction up. And if I'm looking at this transaction, I'm saying, well, this is an open transaction. What are the other documents in the system this is related to? With SAP Business One, we have a tool called Relationship Maps. I can right click on the screen and I can choose Relationship Map. So right now, you can see that this is related to this business partner. It came from this sales quotation and it was turned, that sales quotation was turned into this sales order. Now, if I want to open up the sales order again, I can. If I want to take that sales order now and turn that into an invoice, I'll go copy to AR invoice. Now I'm creating the invoice for the sales order. Everything else is okay. I say add. That's now done. My sales transaction is in there. If I close that down, and I close that down now, if I go back and I look at that sales order, and I look at my relationship map again, what do you now see? You now see that there is an accounts receivable invoice. When there's a payment process, the payment will appear here. Where there's general ledger transactions, the general ledger transactions will appear. And you've got a number of different ways of viewing that information. So, for example, I can view it on the basis of any postings, or I can view the related items. And you can see, here is my sales order, and on that sales order, these are the items that were sold on that sales order. Okay, so that's a little bit of a skip across into the relationship map functionality. And remember, how did we get there? We got there from Enterprise Search. So if you're the CEO, if you're a call center representative, if you're a sales representative, you have access to that functionality so you can get the information that your customers need and that you need to give to them to make your business more competitive than all of your um, competitors. Uh, let's be honest. Uh, if you want to really outdo the competition, in many industries now, a lot of the time it comes down to the way that you deliver business processes. Price is a bad place to um, uh, try to compete because there's always somebody who's willing to go out of business faster than you are. So many organizations today are looking at how effectively they manage their relationships with their customers and suppliers, how effectively manage they, they manage their internal processes to drive cost out of the business. Tools like SAP Business One Analytics give you the ability to do that by giving you answers to the questions you're asking quicker than you've ever been able to get them before. Let me show you one other area that I really like about SAP uh, Business One Analytics. So we've got all these cockpits and everything like that, but I'm the kind of person who I like to be able to go and do my own uh, analytics. I like to be able to go and define my own view of my data. So one of the components of the Business One Analytics is interactive analysis. How does this work? We have a whole range of these different data cubes that you can access. So let's say, for example, I want to do some sales revenue analysis. I can click on here on sales revenue analysis and you'll see what will happen. Down the bottom, my Microsoft Excel icon is flashing. So it automatically opens up in a pivot table. It opens up with a link to that data stored in my HANA database. So all I have to do now is just decide what do I want to see. Now I can build my data one of two ways. I can build my data by dragging the information into my charts or I can drag the information into my pivot table. So what do I want to analyze? Well right now I want to do an analysis of sales by customer. So all I do is I select the value that I want to track which is my sales and now you'll see that's over here. No amounts in here yet because I have to specify a dimension. So I'm going to say I want to see it by customer group. One click here, I now can see my sales by customer group. Well, I actually want to see which of my salespeople are selling the most into these customer groups. So again, I can scroll down here until I find my sales employee name. I click on that. 
and now I can see which of my salespeople is selling into which of those accounts. Now, if I want that around the other way, quite simple, okay, I can just rearrange those. And now you'll see I get the salesperson at the top, and then I can see the customer groups underneath that. And of course, because this is built using Excel, I have all that standard Excel functionality. Well, exactly which distribution com uh, customers did Bill Levine sell to? I can click on there and I can see, there we go, he's only sold to one um, in this time period and that's Ada Technologies. All right, so what is my time period? What if I want to see that broken down across a number of months? Well, I can go in here and I can say, I want to see that by month or by year or by quarter. So if I say I want to see it by month, I simply select my month. Now, it's now showing my months down here. That's really not a great way to look at this information. So what do I do? All I do is I drag my posting date field up here into my column labels, and you can now see I'm now seeing that information here by month. Month one, two, three, four, and five. But I don't like that, actually. That's a little bit too much information for me to absorb. So I'm going to get rid of that posting date just by dragging it up out of my pivot table, and I want to look at it by quarter. So I simply select the quarter, and again, put my posting date up here and say I want that as a column, and there you go. Now I've got sales by salesperson, by customer group, by quarter. Incredibly easy, incredibly flexible. And there's a whole range more information sitting underneath here that I haven't even started to drill down to. Things like inventory items, things like item groups. Uh, there's a whole range of different things I can start analyzing. So that's the power of interactive analysis. And then, of course, the good news is I'm able to graph all of that information automatically using standard Excel functionality. So even if the news is bad, I can certainly make it look good. All right, so that's a bit of a snapshot of the uh, interactive analysis capability. And then, of course, I can save that spreadsheet as well, and I can come back to that any time that I want to. So there you have it. That's the, uh, the SAP Business One Analytics powered by HANA. So what have I shown you so far? We started off by looking at how SAP Business One can be delivered via the cloud with our SAP Business One On Demand. I showed you two ways of doing that, by launching the application from a website and having it um, running as a standalone application. I then showed you the option of being able to simply run it from a browser and have it embedded in the browser. What did we then do? We then went and had a look at the standard SAP Business One user interface. We had a look at the cockpits. We took a look at some of the standard functionality that was in the system. And then I've shown you the SAP Business One analytics powered by SAP HANA, which is that next generation of business analytics using in-memory database technology. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of an overview of what's involved in the solution. And uh, as I've already mentioned in today's presentation, on this website there are a number of other very detailed demonstrations of each of these functional areas that I've taken you through in today's presentation. So what I'd like to do now is I'm just going to jump back to our PowerPoints and I'm going to finish off the presentation and make a couple of closing remarks. Okay, so now we're back in our presentation. And you can see here I've got a couple of examples of some of the customers who are using our SAP Business One solution. And these are three different organizations. The first, Group SEB, it's one of our large enterprise customers who decided to roll SAP Business One out to their subsidiary organizations. The second one, HHP, is a customer in Germany. And what they have decided to do uh, they decided to roll out SAP Business One, and one of the things which was key to them was the embedded mobile capability of SAP Business One. A third customer, DryFire, running SAP Business One on demand. Again, some feedback from them. You know, they were concerned about the performance of the system because they originally started with SAP Business One running on premise inside their office, but they decided they wanted to move into a cloud based deployment for a number of different reasons. They were concerned about the performance. What did they see? The performance impact has been minimal. Often you don't see a difference at all. And as a matter of fact, 
Many times, depending on the infrastructure that your cloud provider is running on, you can even see it running faster than in an on-premise environment. There should be very little or no difference at all. So, what's our roadmap for the future? Because it's not just about what we're doing today, it's also about what we're going to do in the future. So, we're continuing to grow the core of our application, that main SAP Business One application. Our next milestone is our major release 9.0, which is planned to enter into ramp up in Q4 of 2012. Well, today is September the 29th, so we're not yet in Q4, but I'm pleased to say we have just entered ramp up ahead of schedule. So we're also adopting that groundbreaking technology with SAP HANA, and we're not only going to be utilizing that for the analytics capability, but we're also starting the process of testing the SAP Business One with the SAP HANA database running as the back-end database for the entire system, not just for the online analytical processing or OLAP, but also for the online transaction processing or OLTP. So everything running on HANA. We're now delivering SAP Business One on demand, moving away from a subscription-based hosting model to a software as a service hosting model. Okay? We're also now starting to see more and more people wanting to utilize mobile devices as their preferred delivery mechanism for business applications. We're providing that today and even more. So we're not just sitting back and saying, okay, we've done enough. We know that our customers always want more. You want more functionality to help you run your businesses better. You want to utilize technology, but not technology for its own sake, technology that helps you run your businesses better. So we're spending a lot of time focusing on that. So let's then wrap up what we've covered. I've talked to you and shown you how we're providing that end-to-end -end core business functionality and capability. The important thing to note, if you are running this in an on-premise environment, the SAP Business One hardware requirements are quite inexpensive. And of course, with the cost of computer hardware coming down all the time, uh, it is becoming less and less expensive to deploy more and more powerful hardware. And your SAP Business One solution will be taking advantage of that if you choose to make those investments. We looked at the personal work center, how you have the ability to create those role-based cockpits with the dashboard integration for monitoring your key performance indicators, with those commonly used functions to allow you to jump quickly to the areas in the software that you need to to do your job. The search engine with the navigation and, of course, all of those alerts that we looked at, okay, having the ability to have the system tell you when there's something you need to pay attention to. I showed you that real-time embedded analytics with the SAP HANA solution. You saw how that changed the built-in capabilities of SAP Business One and really accelerated not only the speed at which we're delivering that information, but also the way that we can deliver that information with the different format of enterprise search. I'm not going to show you a mobile demonstration. Uh, I've got my iPad here. But I've got another demonstration here on the website focused specifically on that. So I would encourage you to take a look at that and see exactly how that mobile solution works. But it's there. You can download it today, as a matter of fact, from the App Store, and you can try it yourself with, some demonstra with a back-end demonstration system. So I'd encourage you to take a look at that. The analytics, again, we talked about taking that embedded analytics and now taking this um, the analytics components and moving on to that next generation where the entire application is running on top of SAP HANA. This is really all about giving you the ability to increase your productivity. That ad hoc or interactive analysis that I showed you using Microsoft Excel is really about helping your users explore and investigate more of their information before they make the, the decisions and before they can make the right decisions, the right decisions for your business, the right decisions to keep your customers happy. So it really does put your end users in control of their own productivity. So let's just quickly finish off with one or two key points. SAP have a product portfolio that consists of a number of different solutions for small and mid-sized enterprises. Where do all these products fit in? Well, it's very clear that SAP Business One is our product of choice 
for small and mid-sized enterprises. The larger mid-sized enterprises have a choice as well. They can choose SAP Business by Design if they're looking for a pure cloud-based solution. They can choose SAP Business All-in-One if they are looking for an, uh, a solution that has incredible industry specificity, okay, which is delivered on-premise and also hosted by partners via a subscription pricing model. But SAP Business One, where does it fit? One application that's ideal for growing small enterprises and lower mid-size enterprises. It's available in the cloud hosted by our cloud partners, or it's available for you to run on-premise. So that's the products that we have in our product portfolio. We provide ecosystem integration with all of those different products. SAP Business One by far and away has the greatest number of those ecosystem integrations in productive usage today. Why? Because many of those subsidiaries are smaller subsidiaries where the functional fit of the SAP Business One solution is exactly right for them. But we do have those pre-built integration scenarios available for both business by design and business all in one. And we've touched on this idea of our life cycle management, what we have with our remote support platform. Again, I've got demonstrations available for you, not on um, this website in this format, but you can also visit my YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Duffy Richard and you'll find a number of other videos there demonstrating how the remote support platform works. So again, I would encourage you, a lot of information I've made available for you to help you understand exactly how SAP Business One can work for you. So some other areas where you can get information, well, on the SAP public website. And here's a number of links with quick response codes that you can just snap with your device if it has a QR scanner uh, and it'll take you straight to those particular locations. So I encourage you to learn more about SAP Business One. And most importantly, of course, if you have questions about what you've seen today, what I've talked about, and anything to do with SAP Business One, what you'll see at the bottom of your screen is an option to ask a question. So you can click down there, you can ask a question, and one of our team will get back to you as soon as possible with the answers, or if you'd just like to hear from somebody about an SAP Business One solution, use the same function. Just say that you'd like to hear from somebody to talk more about SAP Business One. So again, on behalf of SAP and our, actually, these days it's more than 60,000 employees around the world now that I think of it. On behalf of all of those SAP employees, on behalf of our partners, I would like to say thank you to you for taking the time to watch this presentation.